Hello Zero K fans, this is Shadow Fury 33 with the February 2v2 tournament. Starting out we're going to have a match, match group 1 is going to be between Ralhop and Killer. Ryan778. The latter two players, if you are not familiar with them, do not be surprised, that is normal, nor am I. So we're going to be starting up on Frozen Planet which I will refrain from saying dramatically as bad as I can. As much as I would like to say it, that the most dramatic voice possible, I will not. Because it annoyed people last time. Anyway. We, so yeah, because we're on Frozen Planet! Oh, darn it, I just failed myself already. On Frozen Planet! I don't know why I always want to say it that way, but I do. Anyway, Rel and Killer on the east side of the map, while Man Orion on the west side of the map. Orion going for heavy tanks, I'm going for cloaky bots. North side is cloaky right now. Ralhop. That this is a map that favors I mean really should go over the map briefly. Oh, shoot. My my apologies. I've apparently left the text to speech on. I sorry, I had to I had to redo a bunch of stuff to get this thing to work. It had oh is this it? I think. Anyway, as I was saying, with this map, it favors bots. I'm not sure why Orion went for heavy tanks. I really am not. This map is a hugely bot favored map. Killer and Ralhop know what they're doing as far as that's concerned. Yeah, it's also, as you can see, fairly small, very focused on these two metal spots all around the map, not so focused on anything else. Oh, actually, I should keep that on because there's no other way to see the metal spots. Right, the bright side of this news, however, with the fact that everything's kind of new, is that I did manage to find a way to get outlines working with the economy view. So, that's a benefit, I suppose, for anyone who cared. Anyway, Orion and Hmm are attacking very aggressively, going surprisingly aggressive. Ralhop trying to rally in from the north to help out, but unfortunately, Killer is being cut off. The Kodachi's here. Very nicely set up. Orion cutting them off, allowing him to have a bit of leeway. However, unfortunately, he was not able to actually make use of that. Fortunately, though, that was a useful distraction. Okay, seriously, where's the, where's that talk? That's a speech setting. I turned it off like years ago, and I can't remember where it went. Someone in the chat could tell me where the text-to-speech widget is. That'd be great. Pretty so I much. want to turn it off. I need energy vouch. <sighs> I don't need co-commentary with... Actually, I'm not sure what that voice is in the first place, come to think of it. Victoria, I think, is the name of that voice. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember my childhood here, right? Childhood growing up with Mac OS and all the various text-to-speech voices that it did for fun. I'm not sure what this voice is. I mean, it's probably one of the Microsoft ones. It's probably not anything that Apple had. It's just... Reminds me of, I think Victoria is the name of the voice. But yeah, so someone can tell me how to turn that off, because I can't remember offhand, and I really don't want to distract the stream with that. But, that aside, Killin' Relhop getting back up, regrouping from that particular attack, and having a nice amount of reclaim in their base, which is something I know how to turn off, because that's, while useful, it is not... Woodry Hill. Oh, no, that's... Oh, for crying a lot, where was it? You know what, screw it. We'll just Radar. We'll call this one as this is going to be a bit of a weird first game. Okay. Issues of live play, and then after that I'll get everything sorted out for the next game. Anyway, Still with respect to this game, Orion coming in with Banisher along the south. Hmm, however, it's is some... apparently trying to go for heavier units, but Lol. really this is not working out too well. They are not building much of anything. Orion, at least, is pushing most of the resources into... Well, they're pushing into a Banisher, which is going to be quite handy. Nope. At least until it gets disarmed. Unfortunately for Orion, Orion this is... Oops. Unfortunately for Orion, this is going to be difficult. Neither player actually on the west side of the map has gone, surprisingly, for radar. Neither has gone for radar. This is very bizarre. Did Normally you, you see that exactly, and Orion getting ca caught out with their banisher, losing that, finally getting radar up. But that is very late in the game. Mind nope. you, on this map, that is not terribly surprising. Radar is difficult to use yep. well, just because of the hills in this map. It's very difficult to set up a radar in a position that is actually useful, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't. 
It just means that it's going to be largely a defensive option until you take in enough territory that it becomes a largely offensive now? option, as we see with Railhop right now in the north. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a 0k lobby setting. Okay. What? I... Okay, that's good to know. I don't know why... Oh, yeah. So it is. Not sex D. Thanks, clone. Anarchid. Thanks, Anarchid. The that was... Is here. That was handy. Okay, so anyway. Where was I? Ah, yes. Hmm is setting up a heavy army, which is not the right move. The warrior is not a bad move. The Zeus, however, will be totally Look overwhelmed out. by the glaives from Ralhop. Not to mention by the bandits. This is too early in the game to be going for an assault force. It makes sense to have the warriors. The warriors, the riots, that makes perfect sense. But having the Zeus there... There is not enough firepower. There is not enough support. It really will not work. This is going to be brutal. Okay. No LLT yeah, I or turned anything. off zero K lobby and it yeah. didn't work. So, sorry about that. It will be fine next you game though. Push. It's just apparently something is started not up. Anyway, the point made. is that doesn't matter. What matters is Ralhop coming into the north for a very sneaky attack. Neither m it nor Orion know about this. No, they are completely yes, blind. Not, if they why are they not the checking the north anyway? That is a little surprising. But yet they are not. This is yeah, Bill Pork. Then not going to work. And for those of you who just tune in, you did not miss much. I've been just dealing mostly with technical issues more than I have been dealing with the game itself. At this point, the Western side players, Moon and Ryan, have not been set up in a particularly effective way, unfortunately. Which means they are going to Possible. basically get crushed by a. Enemy. A wave of glaives. A fairly small wave of glaives. Although, yeah, F this is F too many Zeus. That's the problem. And Rattlehop coming in here with not their main force. The main force over to the north instead. And that's where it comes in. Getting rid of the commander. This is a wave of glaives I was talking about. Tearing apart the commander. Tearing apart the factory. Killer doesn't even have to worry about this at all. rattlehop has got the north sorted. Now, Killer, on the other hand, not taking the south as directly. Orion has set up a much stronger position. Still not that strong, though. The bandits could easily come I in through here, and weapons. that would be death. But they haven't. What you doing? Or not cold. A little bit surprising, but yeah, that is not going to be easy. Weapon. However, at the same time, hmm is going for possibly a base trade. I really don't see this working. Micro Just because we do have you we do have rockers coming in here. That's going to be a bit damaging here. But also, every unit hmm loses is one less unit they can use to hold a line against Killer coming in from the south, and Ralhop coming in from the west, or from the east. And the Rocco is doing a nice enough job getting rid of the Warriors, or at least getting rid of the Zeus. Why you attacking a solar the Warriors are a bit of a problem. The Bandits are going to have a hard time dealing with that. But the Rockos have some room to move back. There's enough Lotuses, and more importantly, Hmm has no way of rebuilding their forces at all. Solar None. They tried, they were building up a the second Cloaky Butt Factory over to the north, but they did not succeed. So they can't leave these units alive, and that is basically game. Orion, they're going to try their best, but I don't think they have much chance. I mean, though, that early Racketeer, this Racketeer was that. in there from the start of the game. That stopped the first Banisher from coming in, and that's stopping these Banishers as well. This is this is the Racketeer's game. That has that been basically the way this that has gone. The Racketeer has won the game. Yeah. Pretty much. I still have now, Orion has not completely thrown they in the towel. They haven't lost yet. They still have they have Reapers coming in, which won't do much, granted. But they will do something. And what they do is the primarily is getting rid of more. metal extractors, which honestly is not something that is needed at this point. Getting rid of large groups? That's what the Banishers are for. That's what the Banishers have not been able to do. The Reapers, however, would be able to tank these pretty well. I don't know how that's going to happen. And I don't see... I don't think... Hmm has no production at all. And Orion not giving any welders or anything, I mean, surprisingly. The thing with team games is that if one player is out for production, they're not dead. I mean, they ha can't produce anything, but their teammate can donate them units. Why are they not donating units? What the heck? I mean, I get it. Hmm did lose with what they had, but still, well, Orion, they're on your team. Second. Donations are kind of a matter of course. But that's Just what you relax. do. Get more Nexus. Equals win. Oh, Anarchy pointing out Donian, Donian units is a hidden feature. Which is a fair point, actually. It's kind of hard to do. Okay, well, anyway, that is game one. A little bit of anticlimactic ending there, but really, 
the game ended as soon as Hmm got attacked. I thought Orion would be able to pull, well, give something to Hmm and maybe have something happen, but yeah, it's not easy, this map really isn't. So Hmm and Orion get map choice for next game, and in the meantime, I'm going to try to figure out how to deal with all these technical issues that are being a bit of a surprise and a pain in the butt. Hopefully I'll also be able to get Floris on here. Unfortunately, I do n I mean, Floris is online, but they haven't responded to me. So I can't really throw it in there. So anyway, I believe, yeah, the player list is the one that has the donations in it. I can't really show right now because I'm not playing, I'm merely spectating, and... Oh, hey, Floris is here. So I will be hopefully getting Flores on in just a moment. Stay tuned. We'll have the next game as soon as that happens. I'm waiting until... No, as soon as Flores comes in, we're getting the next game. No, no, no. Until once him and Ryan set the map, their choice, once they choose it, then we will continue. Stay tuned for that. We'll be up in a moment.